Hey, Mr. Jimmy. I'm Megan. I'm going to be your nurse today, okay? I have some orders here that says I need to insert an IV on you. Um, and we got some medicines to give you, too. We'll go over all that uh, a little bit later, okay? So can you tell me your name and birthday? Jimmy Hoffman, January 18th, 1942. All right. All right, I'm just going to double check our orders here. I'm going to be on this computer a little bit, just double checking. See if the doctor's put in for us. All right, so we have an IV and some fluids and some meds. So I might have a friend coming in here later and helping us get medications, okay? Okay. All right, so before I come in here, I have to make sure they have all of my supplies. So for an IV, you need an IV start kit that has uh, cleaning supplies, things like that. Uh, this is an extension tubing. I need the needle that we're going to insert. I'm gonna talk about two different kinds of those, facility dependent. I need an IV flush. And I went ahead and grabbed uh, the, the bolus medication that we're going to give. Um, just saving, saving steps here, okay? So first I'm going to insert an IV, and I'm actually going to insert two IVs uh, because I have two different catheters depending on facilities. So like I'm at St. Vincent's, we use one catheter. You'll go to UAB and have a different catheter, but essentially they're very much alike, okay? So since we're starting uh, IVs, now all of them have this gel on the inside, so it would be good practice if you bring a towel or a washcloth or something to put underneath their arm so if there's any you know spillage of blood out of your catheter okay so mr jimmy is there uh, a preference on which arm that i start an iv in um I, I do dialysis so my left arm over here i have an av fistula okay so probably can't do that one okay so since he has uh, an access device over here in this arm, we're going to use this arm only, okay? So different reasons could be if they've had breast cancer before and lymph nodes have been removed, we can't use that arm. Um, maybe prior injury, something like that. So I always like to ask my patient their preference, if there's a reason I can't use one arm or the other. You know, sometimes they'll say, you only can use this one vein right here. Uh, you know, as, as a nurse, I will look at that vein, look at that area, but that is not always useful, right? Um, so once I enter the room, I can either use the bedside table, I can use the bed depending on how um, the patient's able to communicate and move, you can use the side table, you know, you just find what works for you, okay? So this room is kind of set up kind of funky, so you can manipulate things, right? Um, so I have my stuff set up over here, however my gloves and hand sanitizer are over here, alright? I'll get my hand sanitizer, scrub, scrub, scrub. Now, a big mistake that I see from students is uh, that you put on the hand sanitizer a lot because you want to get real clean, and you don't scrub for the whole time so it doesn't dry all the way. So if you try to put your wet hands in these gloves, they're going to get stuck, and it's it's going to be uh, not going on too smoothly, okay? All right, Mr. Jimmy, you ready for me to start an IV on you? Ready as I'll ever be. All right. Okay, so he's already told me that he... You know this arm is only the arm that can be used so as i'm you know preparing getting my gloves on getting stuff set up i'm already kind of looking at you know his arm and um what what his arm has to offer as far as veins and things like that um some people like to go ahead and just look at it make sure there's no prior injury make sure that he doesn't have multiple bruising from prior ivs things like that um and he looks like he has pretty good veins <laughs> Okay, so we don't think that we'll have too much difficulty. Okay, now, like I said, I'm starting two IVs, so um, I'm going to start them in two different locations. Like I said, he has veins that, that we can choose from. I do want to avoid that AC area, that antecubital area, because, uh, you know, it's in the bend of the arm, and that patient has to keep it straight all the time. If it's right in the middle and he bends it up to kink it, you know, he's, he's going to need to eat and use his arm. So we're going to try to avoid this area if at all possible. I don't know what you said. 